Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. Okay folks, well this is where I camped last night at the wire chain Penzance, 10 pounds a night. You get to use all the facilities this time of year, but I believe in the summer you've got campsite facilities that you have to use toilets and showers outside. But uh, this time of year they let you use the inside facilities. So that's me off now, got the tent down. Check out is uh, 10 and check in is at five, uh, 1700 hours, unfortunately. Yesterday, so I had to wait around in the library. That was the any annoyance, the only really reason I come here really is to avoid the weather. But if I knew the check in was at five, I probably would have just stayed in the library, then camped up on the hill somewhere. But oh well, it's a nice hostel. Uh, the shower's a bit slow running, but it's warm. Um, friendly, clean, uh, facilities are good. But yeah, if you're in Penzance, 10 quid, you can't go wrong. Recommend it. So I didn't do much filming yesterday because my bag was overloaded with food. It was pissing down the rain. It was 50 mile per hour winds. So I made a, got a bus into Penzance and as I said, I ended up staying at the hostel where I could have just camped up on hill really. And that's where I'm going now. I'm going up to Menatol. That's where I plan on camping near or near there. Coming towards me. Seem alright. Don't seem aggressive. The, the, this farmer's gate was locked. I had to walk through loads of cow shit. Cheers for that. Well, well, I managed to go the wrong way, but I'm still kind of heading in the right direction. Just a longer way. And I'm actually walking at the very top end of Penzance at the States, the very end of Penzance, I guess. Um, housing estates at the top. Um, so yeah, I don't think I've ever been up here before. So yeah, some of the places I'm going to today, the ancient places I have been, well, all of them really, I've been to before. Yeah, I reckon this path in the uh, summer would be a bloody nightmare to walk down. Just had to go through loads of thistled plants. Uh, anyway, on the way. There's an ancient uh, Christian cross here. Very worn away by the wet weather.
guessing this must be the well and the church, I'm not sure. I have been here probably back in 2012, it hasn't really changed. So I'm not sure whether this is the church remains or just the well, or both, but it's got a well in it. Well I think the official, the actual well is over that way. And it is absolutely boggy and drenched in water and marshland. It looks like most people just made it to the trees I can just see over that log. After that it's even worse. Um, but it seems most people leave the offerings around this bit here. Or are they offerings or they're, they're like uh, remembering people who passed away? So folks, trying to get through here, this ginormous spag I got. This is a, one of the better bits. Right, let me move this out the way. That is right in the way of the path, look. <laughs> You're taking the f this, aren't you? Look at the fawns on it. F this. Sorry about the language. I got thistles in hand. This is what I do to do filming for you guys. And this happens quite often. And this isn't even summer on an overgrown right away. And this bag weighs a ton. Can I get up yet? Oh god. Oh, mother f Excuse my language, sorry guys. But you have to be here to know why. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ah, oh, man. This is f the piss. Seriously? Oh, you with people not cutting their rights away which is done on purpose I'm sure oh god oh you Sorry about the squaring guys. This is imagine what this is like in the summer walking along here. Oh man. Ah oh, taking the cutting now folks. If you're a real hiker like myself, um, that is the kind of bag you need. Uh, obviously make it as small as possible so you can get through shit like that but you need a, a bag that's built like a tank because when those flimsy lightweight bags are just going to rip to pieces they last <laughs> one hike and then they fall apart mate if you want to do hikes in this country because a lot of uh, rights away are overgrown purposely
So this is Manato. Um, I don't think much is known about it. People think it might have been a burial cairns or a stone circle. Um, I don't think real great deal is known about it, like I said. Coast path looking for somewhere along here to camp. But I'm not sure whether I don't think the farmers use this track. I can't see any tire tracks, so I probably can stick my tent up on this, uh, this path literally on it. So I don't No, there are no tire tracks on here. That's cool. I can't see any signs of animals either. There's no poo, there was poo in the last field, loads of fresh poo. So yeah, I think this field's good to go. It's not quite what I had in mind for camping tonight, but I don't know, I'll walk a little bit further, I think. But I think the the the, um, the beach I was thinking of is too built up. It's probably new houses, isn't it? If you look here on the pictures, but over, when I'm looking over it, it looks like there's loads of houses. So folks, I decided on a camping spot. It looks pretty much animal free. It's got a nice little spot to pitch the tent. It's um, literally an hour away for sunset. Um, many people are gonna be up here, people are walking the whole southwest coast path probably. They're doing that. Um, which well, could be because it's that time of year. It's October, it's the best month really for long distance hiking. After this, this is going to be too dark at night and maybe too cold for most people to carry loads of heavy winter gear. But uh, I shall be camping all year round. Uh, I won't be doing any long distance hikes probably. I have done it in the past, but I've walked right across uh, Lake Districts a couple of times over winter in the snow. We used to really enjoy that. Um, but probably wouldn't do it again. I've been there, done that. Uh, maybe something different this year. But uh, maybe some camping in the snow though, some wild camping in the snow. Uh, possibly Lake District or some other places. Spectacular uh, sunset today on the coast path. I think I'm going to make myself um, a curry now.
Okay, folks, so I'm having a pilaf rice and a curry. Um, I'm just about to cook that now. Made my bag a bit lighter as well. I'd like to say a big thanks to everybody who has subscribed to my channel. It helps me out loads. Take care folks.